No, this might me. be a, a completely ridiculous question, but I was just thinking about this because you've had some great roles in your career, different roles. You look at Dumb and Dumber, you look at something like this, Newsroom. Could you imagine an Aaron Sorkin Dumb and Dumber script? Like how that dialogue would be, would be so different if you, if Harry and Lloyd were speaking uh, in Sorkin language? Wow. Wow. That amount of verbiage, <laughs> first of all, is would blow both of their minds <laughs> up. Um, and then to actually speak <laughs> at that speed, uh, you could smoke would come out of their ears. <laughs> Talk about an engine overheating. Uh, yeah, I but I would to love that. to see Aaron try it. Oh, <laughs> someone yeah. get this done. So they can get the Farley brothers on the phone and get this get this made. Yeah, you know, I think I was thinking about your character from the. That'd movie. be a hell of a pitch, Aaron. I got a pitch for you. Yeah, hear me out. Yeah. <laughs> Please do it. No. Um, obviously, you've spoken Aaron Sorkin's language before and the dialogue before. And in this movie, there's a particular battle sequence that I just mentioned to you as you're battling with Fassbender. And it's cutting back to the firing element in the second act. As you're doing that scene, does it feel like you're fighting a war? Does it feel like you're shooting guns? It's a, it's a, it feels like a battle sequence as you're watching. Yeah, uh, battlefield guns, uh, heavyweight fight more. Um, a lot of what you do with, with Aaron is the ping pong or tennis. Hmm. You know, it's back and forth. It's act, react. And he writes to that. And you can, if you use the other person like we did so often in a newsroom, that's, that's great. So it feels like ping pong tennis. But that scene with Michael was, was a heavyweight fight. And, but it was a dance. It was a dance because you'd get to the end of a take and then I'd go, ah, I was late on that thing. He goes, yeah, yeah, but I'll be early on that other. I said, okay, great. So then we go right. So you're doing it together. Hmm. And then when I saw it cut with what Danny did, and, and it was all this just marriage of this really it's a great sequence, great sequence. You know, I want to ask you, because the movie was shot linearly, and in the sense of a shot in order, obviously, you know that. But when, when, you're, when you're doing a scene like that, it's cutting back to the boardroom scene with the firing sequence. When was that shot? Was that shot linearly as well? Was that shot? No, as... no, that was probably, yeah, that was different. The restaurant scene that we have uh, is, it was early. Uh, but, you know, the big present day scenes, mm -hmm. we were in those rooms at the launches, that was in order. The 1635 digital stuff was blowing my mind. I was, I, yeah. I was geeking out about that. I mean, like the 16 millimeter cameras. I'd forgotten. Danny says, oh, the first part's going to be 16 millimeter. I said, yeah, okay, great. And then I'm watching, and I'm going, what's wrong with the film? What happened? Why is this? It's 16 millimeter. That's what it is, people. 16 millimeter. Yeah.